Regenesis Remediation Services out here on this acre-sized plume of PCE and TC contamination in groundwater with daughter products of cis DCE and vinyl chloride. Uh, we're going to inject about 437,000 pounds of persulfox from about 30 to 5 feet below ground surface in this aquifer. It's going to take us about 15 to 20 days to complete. Our crews with our two trailers behind us is going to be able to get in about a truckload of material per day. We've been out here for about a week now and we've got a few more weeks to go but we are applying our persulfox technology which is a uh, catalyzed persulfate simply mixed with water in our uh, injection trailers. Once it's mixed it goes into solution then it's pumped uh, from the trailers through in our injection tooling and then to the subsurface. We are uh, essentially putting it in at a 25 percent solution and as it's being injected, it's under pressure. We're injecting it, you know, roughly 20 to 40 PSI under pressure, low flow, um, looking at uh, flow rates of roughly two to six gallons a minute, uh, nothing more. Not really trying to set any records here or uh, speed the process up. We're looking for quality and, and making sure that we're getting the distribution and influence uh, that we need. For Soulfox is an all-in-one easy to handle, white powder, comes in a 55 pound bag, you cut it open, pour it in a tank, you mix it, goes into solution. Uh, it's really simple, simple to use. Um, it creates a bunch of free radicals which effectively destroys the uh, subsurface contaminants which for this case out here at this site we're predominantly dealing with um, daughter products of tetrachloroethylene. Our injection interval is from 30 feet to 5 feet below ground surface. Utilizing the uh, direct push rig, go down, drive rods 30 feet, and then we're pulling up every 3 feet in this case. We're injecting a certain volume. Uh, once that volume is uh, met, we pull up another 3 feet and we do that throughout the whole process until we bring it all the way up to 5 feet. Continuously monitoring the distribution, the influence of the material, you're using persulfate kits. Uh, looking at conductivity, ORP, pH in some circumstances, and even some temperature change potentially. Um, all those things are being monitored by monitoring wells that are nearby. If we're not seeing the in, in influence that we want or the distribution, we uh, make, make changes to the plan, tighten up our spacing, grid point spacing, uh, hopefully to influence it and get this material where we need to get it. Regenesis Remediation employs geologists, engineers, biologists, that work in the field. So the people on site are professionals in the environmental industry. We understand the designs, we understand the geology and the conceptual site model of your site. So we are out here to maximize distribution and remediation performance during the application process and working with local geoprobers uh, to do this. We're not here to get in and out as quickly as possible. We're here to ensure distribution and performance.